My name is Mihai Marika, and I'm the cellist of the Amphion String Quartet. My name is David Southorn, I'm a violinist. Hi, um, my name is Andy Lin, and my Chinese name is Wei Yang Lin. I play the viola. Katie Hyun, and I play violin. Mm. So I was working on my artist diploma at Yale, and for my graduation recital, I was required to have one chamber piece on it. And these guys were my project. That was in February of 2009. And we started seriously working as a quartet that fall. Where were you born? I was born in San Francisco. I was born in Cluj-Napoca, Romania, and I grew up in the nearby countryside. Charlottesville, Virginia, and I spent about four months there, so I don't have many memories of the place. I'm from Taiwan originally, and I was born in Kaohsiung. Getting Concert Artists Guild was a real boost to our career, because they're our first experience with management. They've been getting us a lot of concerts and they've been making a lot of connections for us and it's just been a really wonderful experience working with them. What is your favorite popular listening of today? Beethoven. <laughs> <laughs> I've been listening to Punch Brothers a lot lately. Um, what's your favorite movie, if you can choose one? It's I don't watch that much movies and um, besides Asian movies, the one that's in the States I like the most, which I watch almost every year is Love Actually. It's kind of cheesy, but I just love it. I love The Big Lebowski. <laughs> but if I had to pick one definite favorite movie, it would probably be uh, Andrei Rublev. Well, just yesterday we were rehearsing uh, Beethoven Quartet's opening 18 num number 6 and uh, Opus 95. We're going to perform them soon. And I think David said that we should play more Beethoven. We're also working on Opus 59. Couldn't agree more. I think it'd be great to have one Beethoven all at all times, yeah. you know, being worked on. Because it's just, you know, I think it's just the best quartet music ever written. I haven't gone on a picnic in ages, but if I were to go, I'd definitely have a lot of cheese, a lot of salami, a lot of bread, and a lot of wine. Oh man, um, let's see, some apples, um, sandwiches, grapes, um, wine, or beer, no wait, maybe water would be good too, um, strawberries, I like strawberries. I always trust Katie with the food. I think inside of this way. I love Asian food, so I think I'll pack sushi or kimbap or anything that has rice in it. Career-wise, I think it would be nice to, um, to yeah, I mean, right now we're just finally starting to get recognized nationally, like we're, we're going to be going to a California West Coast tour. Most of the concerts we have are on the East Coast, but eventually it'd be really nice if we could have a, um, you know, management internationally and start performing in Europe. That would be something I would really love to look forward to. Music is just something that I need to, to have every day to, to live with. You know, cheesy as it sounds, they say music is a universal language. And I, I agree with that. I mean, it just reaches places emotionally and intellectually that I, I can't put into words. There are all kinds of music and I think it's something that it's not just words or melody itself, but it when you hear it, it just touches your heart right away. I think arts in general, one, one of the most interesting aspects of art in general is that it's trying to describe us as a, describe humanity in, in the most, um, I guess, difficult ways that, would, that you can find. I think it really makes the world a better place.